Hey guys, Sea Drum Invasion here, and welcome back to a new video. So let's talk about the dramas that are airing, and also Merry Christmas or Christmas Eve, whenever this comes out. Hope you're having a good holiday, and let's just jump on into it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and if you've subscribed without turning on your notifications to all, make sure to do that as well to ensure the future videos will be seen in your subscription box. So first off, we have Win the Future. This one has 40 episodes and aired on December 21st on Aichi, Tencent Video, and Yuku. This is a business romance life drama starring Chen Kun and Shin Zhi Lei. This is a drama about two different major companies who are fighting in the Chinese market. Chen Kun's character plays a businessman with an impossible sales target task to be able to beat the biggest competitor. And it's ironic because this competitor turns out to be his first love. The next drama that was supposed to air is Gold Panning, the next Aichi Light On series. However, at last minute there was scheduled changes and it's being pushed forward to probably 2022. The next drama that aired is Lucky With You, also 40 episodes and airs on Dragon TV, Aichi Yi, and Yuku. This one airs on December 23rd and it stars Johnny Huang and Wang Li Kun. This is a drama that's been shelved for a while now and it finally has a premiere date unexpectedly. It's an action romance drama with an older woman, younger man relationship. The female lead has terrible luck lately, and unfortunately on the day of her wedding anniversary, she realized that her husband has been cheating on her with another woman. So therefore she decides to divorce him. But unfortunately he is awarded with everything in their relationship including their assets and even their child for child custody. Since the major problem in their relationship is that she isn't wealthy as him and she can't support her family financially so therefore she goes looking for a job and she actually has martial arts training before so she ends up getting a job as a bodyguard for the male lead who is rich handsome and cold on the outside but actually sweet on the inside and they fall for each other and he even helps her get her child back before we get into dramas that recently started production and dramas that recently wrapped up filming let's talk about the film Fire on the Plane, which I talked about, I think, in the last video that I covered, and it stars Zhou Dongyu and Liu Haoran. This is unfortunately postponed. It was supposed to be in theaters on December 24th, but now it's been postponed, and a lot of people are saying that it's because there hasn't been as much interest in the trailers and teasers as they thought there would generate more buzz and popularity, but so far the new date is unknown. First news is Southwind Knows My Mood finally received its broadcast license, which means it can go up anytime, and this drama stars Cheng Yi and Zhang Yuxi. This is a drama about two people, a botanist and a doctor who met a lot of times during humanitarian works and projects, and they eventually fall in love. No air date yet, but rumors are that this might come out in January. Next is the news that Welcome, starring Ren Xiaolun or Alan Ren and Li Qin finally wrapped up filming. This is a romance between a war god who lived thousands of years and a female leader of a group of bandits. And apparently this is both a Shansha and Chinese Republican drama, which is interesting because we don't see too much of that. Super interested in this drama and I'll definitely update you guys whenever there's new news, posters, or information on it. Another drama that wrapped up is Fighting for Love. It's an Aichi production and this one stars Crystal Jiang Tianai, Zhang Haowei, and Wang Ruichang. It's an action historical romance war drama about a female general. It's a story of revenge where the female lead seeks vengeance for her family who was killed by her childhood sweetheart. She ends up disguising as a man and goes on a journey that makes her become known as the god of war. I'm a huge fan of her, especially in her previous dramas. I've watched her since Go Princess Go and was surprised that she hasn't got as much attraction and popularity. But recently with Sword Snow Stride, a lot of people have been really enjoying her performance there. And I definitely think that she'll suit the role here. The next drama that wrapped up is Love Like the Galaxy starring Wu Lei and Zhao Lu Su. This is a romance, mystery, political, costume drama about a smart female lead 
who encounters three different men and they all have their pros and cons and it's basically her journey of finding her true love as well as accidentally being involved in a mysterious case involving her family and conspiracies. The next drama that wrapped up is Discovery of Romance, the Chinese drama remake of the Korean drama. And this is done by WeTV or Tencent Video. It stars Janice Wu and Chin Jun Jie. It follows the story of a woman who has to decide between the person she loved in the past, aka her ex, and her current boyfriend, who are polar opposites. But there's underlying themes of struggles and an emotional journey of a woman in her 30s. And the last drama that recently wrapped up filming this week is Fantastic Doctors. This has 24 episodes and will air on Hunan TV as well as Mango TV. It's a life medical drama starring Zhang Wan Yi, Zhang Yun Leung, and Lu Xiaolin. The male lead is someone with Asperger's syndrome, and he's a medical school graduate. He's super intelligent, however, he has his flaws and isn't good at expressing his feelings. After coming to work at the Songja Hospital, a lot of his patients and families have complained that he has no empathy. And this is when he's tasked to work together with two or three other doctors to cultivate empathy and truly understand humans. As for dramas that recently announced that they're officially filming or started production, the first one is Falling Into You starring Gina Jin and Wang Anyu. This is a romance drama between an older woman and younger man where the female lead is the head coach of the track team. The next drama is Bright and this is a Yuku production. It has around 30 episodes starring Guo Jingfei and Ren Min. This is a school youth drama and it's about a teacher in his 30s and how he faces a bunch of high school students who are abandoned by society and they are deemed as losers. In their own way, they're all outcasts for some reason and it's a story of how the teacher becomes their guardian, their mentor and helps them all go back on the right path. This reminds me a lot of early 2000 dramas specifically Japanese dramas or manga adaptations. And these were some of my favorite dramas to watch, so it feels very nostalgic, and I'm interested to watching this one when it comes out. The next drama is a Shensha web drama that released new stills for the winter solstice. It's called Millennium Heart, and it stars Aaron Dung and Tu Zhe Ying. It's a love story between two people over a span of 3,000 years. We have one major rumor this week, it's that Where Dreams Begin, which is a CCTV drama about growth of a group of young people in Beijing in the 70s, will start filming in mid-January to late January, and it will star Xiao Chan and Vivi Miao. This is a slice of life business drama, and there seems to be many popping up lately with lots of bigger stars in these types of coming of age successful journey stories. Lots of actors and actresses are trying to get into more serious roles and are trying new things. So we had Zhao Li Ying and Yang Zhu. And now Xiao Jian who kind of rejects the typical idol drama script where it's just a rom-com cutesy romance and go for a more mature role or roles that has a bit more depth to their characters and to the storyline. And for me, I think this might be a good thing. We're kind of very concentrated on rom-coms lately, and it's nice to get other genres, especially more refreshing dramas and meaningful scripts and characters. Lastly, we have Da Yao Film, who just recently announced a new action mystery drama called Fate Break, adapted by a popular novelist, Ma Bo Young, who you might know that wrote the original novels for dramas such as Lo Yang, and The Longest Day in Chang'an. All of his works has this expensive scale to it, and it's a bit more darker, revolving around mystery, wars, and politics. There's no casting at the moment, but I'm excited to see who they have in mind for the rumored cast. Who would you like to see as the main leads of this drama? Let me know in the comments below. Give me your thoughts on any of the dramas mentioned or news mentioned. And for anyone who wants to support the channel out even more, links in the description box below to my Kofi page where you can purchase a Kofi there. Happy holidays and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.